Hey, it's Aaron Ken Tech, and in this video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I want to just say how to use Python or PowerShell to quickly make a few bucks and learn something. There's a website meant for Zionist and pro Israel called the iConnect, and it's basically like a survey website slash social media one. You visit their site, you use their Chrome extension, which tracks you, and you gain enough points to get rewards. The reason why I'm making this video is because they're not so clean themselves. I've been using it legitimately for a while, as well as some family and friends, and they've been changing the rates, like how many points to get gift cards, and I think that just wrong so I will show the script this is meant uh, I would recommend using a VPN to the US or to Israel just so they think your traffic is fine I'll go a little into the script I'm not the best Python developer also but I made it work and it saves me a lot of time and I get enough points to earn a few gift cards every month so you need the date time library, which should be standard Python. You import date and date time. This is because one of the links, they since now changed it, which is why I'm finally uploading the video. So this may not work for all the links. They have a start day and it increments daily. So I took off the start date, which is 2020, 5, And it, converts it into year month date and then it takes the current date and then it gets the difference in absolute time from the the current date minus the start date in days and then I add a number because I started in the middle of it and I wasn't sure when they started I figured this would be the best day so then you 118 plus the difference between days and that will give me the string and return it then I have a base URL, and then I have an array of links, as well as regular links, which is just another array. And I get the integer, which we discussed now, and then I import web browser, and now it loops through all the regular links, and it prints them out and then opens in a new tab, as well as the other links. And you're welcome to add more, use it for another website, etc. I'm using Visual Studio Code because I it's more lightweight than the PyCharm and it's completely free. And I'm using uh, VS Codium, which is a, kind of an open source version of the Microsoft one and doesn't include telemetry. The one downside is that you won't be able to find so many extensions this way, which is a key benefit for Visual Studio Code. You could load them offline, which is through a VSIX, I believe. And this also works if you work in a company or with intranet, where you don't have access to other web, as long as you have the local version of the extension, that'll work. Uh, if you're starting off, this is definitely a simple enough way. You just need to configure it with Python. I'm using Python 3 in this case. And I have multiple Chrome profiles, so I'm just going to open this one play and now loaded it if you're if you want to be careful you could definitely add a wait timer just so it doesn't open all at the same time and you need to give it a few minutes to um, the website is built quite poorly you need to wait a few seconds anyways to actually get the points to activate And I have 10,000 points now. If you go to rewards, the Amazon gift card used to be about 5,000, then they increased it. They always take away awards, but let's say an equivalent of a Starbucks version is 8,000. So why would the, the Amazon one be 25,000? It seems like 
they're, they're losing more money in the Amazon thing. It's just kind of wrong. And whenever you were, you could only redeem one word per day. If you're doing, if after you redeem it, sometimes they change the price, like as a reaction. Uh, the website's will still quite small and they charge, they have an interesting business model where they charge businesses to put their things and give away items. I'm not sure how scalable that is. But um, feel free to use the website. I'll give you a code also. Let me know if it works for you and check out the GitHub repo.